Hey there guys, it is Makimon and today I have another building tutorial for you guys. This one is going to be about natural poses because in my building group I had a lot of people who are having trouble posing characters naturally to actually uh, show their personality and I'm going to show you how I show a character's personality with just one pose, one unique thing about them. And that's what I'm going to show you today. Now this was for an old game that never made it out. It was a bunch of developers, about nine of us together, working on this project. And uh, the creator kind of just dropped off midway, so this never made it to the light of day. But it was still fun to actually build the characters, and this is a good piece of footage that I wanted to use to check. And I took that knowledge that I had learned, that, that personality that I had found out for each person, and I used it when I was building them. So what I did is, let's go ahead and show you, I started out with a base, a pretty simple base. It was a cylinder layer look that I used. And from there, I wanted to decide exactly what I wanted to do with each character. Now, I had to look at the characters and their color schemes to define how I wanted to place them. Now, thinking of Skelly Donut, his his was the biggest character. He had these giant wings. I had to place him in the back because of that, because he would block everyone else if I did not place him in the back. So I just stuck him there to keep him there as a placeholder and know how much distance I had to work with everyone else. From there, I took Plutonium and started working with his personality and his pose. Now, Plutonium at the time was not a good friend of mine. I had just started meeting him. I didn't know much about him. He was kind of like this mystery man that had a a bunch of knowledge about scripting that I didn't even know about so I kind of try to t take that into consideration where he was this this strategic person who had all this information he was kind of a mystery so I wanted to put him in a, in a position that looked like a strategic war position where he plans stuff out but I didn't really know him that well so I'd give him a position that would define him in that way and I think I really looked at it well now if you'll notice I'm posing each of his arms and his legs in a position that looks natural uh, on the character but at the same time would be semi-natural in real life. When you think about it, even when posing a character some of, in an animation or a drawing, they also follow the rules of real life even if it's not always natural. So yes, cartoon characters stretch their body and they move in strange ways but at the same time they usually follow some sort of natural pose to the characters, uh, to the people in real life. So if I lean this guy forward, if I lean Skelly forward, his torso will lean forward as well. His arms will lean forward as well. And then I twist his arms semi-backwards so they're at the same place that they start with but they're pointing backwards, and that's how it would look in real life. For his legs, he's lifting one leg up at the same time as having the other down, so it's as if he was taking off flight, and that's kind of looking natural. Now, that was with his personality as well, because he's kind of like a figure where if he had power, he'd mess around with it a lot. Now, as for Hazy Drifter over here, he was a GFX artist. He's kind of... Uh, creative. He has this playful personality. He's young. So I wanted to give him that playful personality. So what I did is I put him go uh, grabbing on to Skelly Donuts so that it looks like he's actually uh, having fun. He's like, you're taking off without me? No way. But at the same time, I had his body in the position where it would look natural if you did that position in real life. So at the same time, I went for Azul next, and he was a scripter. He's a scripter that I know, and uh, he has another very trolly personality, very playful, very young kid as well, and I kind of want to capture that. So I thought, maybe I'll have him hang on to Skelly Donut, but that's not the actual pose that I ended up going with. So I was trying to capture his personality and how it would go, and I'm thinking, well, what is he? What is he doing? He's piggybacking off of uh, off of plutonium. So that's what I wanted to have him do. I'm giving him a position to uh, piggyback off plutonium, and I was going to stick him on plutonium's back after that. Now, to do that, if you notice, when you're piggybacking off of someone, you reach your arms forward and sort of inward at the same time as your legs are either pulled upward or wrapped around the person. So that's the position I wanted to give him naturally. Now, for this other person, he was another scripter. I think his name is Bioweb now. He changed it, but uh, this guy, he's a very playful guy, not as trolly as Azul. 
So I wanted to give him a playful position. So I thought, hey, maybe I give him a dancing position because he'd be the guy to break out into dance. So I'm thinking his arms will probably be waving up in the air. They'll be slightly turned because they're not just lifted up straight up. They're just slightly turned to the side. That's how dancing would work. And he'd be lifting his legs sort of up to uh, give it this motion where he was actually dancing in midair or actually moving, but his leg is still touching the bottom so it looks like this would be a real statue at the same time. Now for Fallen Ghoul over here, he is another guy that I knew, he was a good close bud of mine, and um, I was trying to capture his personality where he likes to try a lot of new things or a lot of new styles. Now. At the same time, he's his character is a mime, so it's very hard to work with, and half black and half white, so it kind of splits it down the middle, where it, it's tricky to balance those colors, and I didn't know how he was going to do it. So I was messing around with cross legs at the time, and I was trying to make it look natural. As you can see, it does not look natural, and that's where I was having trouble. And I didn't like that pose because it really didn't capture his personality, so I ended up scrapping it later. But that's okay because when you scrap something, when you wouldn't try something, it's experimenting and it really helps you out to find out what you're doing. It never works the first time, I will tell you that. So I put him off to the side and I put Azul on the other guy's back just to kind of lay out everything else and I wasn't sure what to do with Fallen at the time, but I would find out later on. So I started again with my character, I brought everyone else's character forward that I hadn't used and I knew myself pretty well, I knew that I had a personality where I like to have the appearance that I'm really tough, but at the same time, I'm not really that threatening, so I wanted to show that. But if you'll notice, I'm turning my leg, so if I, you extend your leg out, if you, in real life you bent down and extend your leg out like that, your other leg would be closer to your chest or your body, and that's how natural it looks. And that's what I was trying to go for here. Now, I was trying to put the sword in my hand like I was extending it out towards the people in the front that were looking at the statue, and I was keeping that in mind while I was building my character. Now at the same time, my arm would be extended out backwards if my other arm was extended forwards to balance me on that strange odd position. And then I would turn my torso somewhat to the side because that's how it would really work in real life. Like, go ahead and try it right now. If you get down and you tried that position, to, in order to stay balanced in that crazy position, you would need to have your torso leaning somewhat forward and your arm would need to lean somewhat back. So I'm trying to balance it so it actually looks like this position could happen in real life, but at the same time, I want it to look like a statue and balance out with everyone around me and capture my personality. You gotta think of all of these things together while working on your GFX or your build when using characters. Now for Strasta, I was having trouble figuring out where I wanted to put him. I knew I wanted to put him next to Skelly Donut because Skelly Donut and him are uh, decent friends and uh, Strasta has a very trolly personality, very fun uh, personality. He laughs a lot. So I had a position pre-made for him on another build and I liked it so well that I used it in this one again and basically I had him on a giant claw machine hanging from it so I kind of put him hanging from Skelly Donut instead like he's ready to attack but he's just hanging around having fun and dangling while Skelly's taking off. Now at this point I figured out exactly what I wanted to do with the statue. Uh, now since Fallen is kind of split in half I wanted to put him in the middle to sort of balance everyone's colors out. I didn't know which position I wanted to put him in yet but I was working on it. Then I wanted to mimic my position with Dahmer which was the creator of the game at the time. I wanted him to do the exact opposite of my position and point towards the uh, the audience that would be viewing the statue. So he'd be holding a sword as well and he'd be pointing out towards everyone else in the actual crowd in the audience looking at the statue and I wanted to give that appearance where we're we're in a swords fighting game and we're hanging out we're showing you guys this is how we're united we're working together to actually fight and that's what I wanted to go for so I gave him the same exact position that I was in but the opposite side and I gave him a tilted body which was a natural position but not natural at the same time because we are working with Robloxians but that's just how I would balance them out in general so after I had him done I knew what I wanted to do with Fallen Ghoul I wanted to have Fallen Ghoul reaching out towards the audience and giving them a sword and that's kind of kind of what I did I 
took that same sword that was on Pluto's back and I gave it to everyone or almost anyone to balance us out. Like we were all in this sword fighting game and we were working together towards a common goal. And that's kind of how I did it. Now the positioning wise uh, is pretty simple from that way forward. Basically I made it look natural if it was done in human or by humans. It would still look natural. It would still work in these same positions. And that's where you gotta think about things. Now I'm kind of wrapping up and just fixing a few things on the side but here's what I want to leave you guys with today I want to let you know that you want to look for the personality of the person and try to capture it in the actual position you use you want a unique position for everyone or at least a semi unique position that describes their character their personality and you want it to fit the situation as well and balance out the other characters that may be in the scene or the other things that may be in the scene and just think about all of that think about hey if I actually tried to do this position what would it look like and maybe even look up some pictures on Google and see how people pose naturally because even if they are cartoon characters even if they are just avatars standing together they are, are still positioned like a human being could be positioned does that make sense I hope so <laughs> but guys seriously this is what I want to leave you guys with today because uh, it's important to me that you guys know how to naturally position because it's a big development in you guys, your progress so far. You guys have come so far. You guys are getting hired out as developers now and you've improved so much. I think you can improve so much more if you continue doing this and work with natural poses. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, this has been Mackiemon's videos, building tutorials as usual. Remember to follow my Twitter, subscribe, like, all that junk and stuff like that. We also have a Discord if you want to come hang out with us. We always have gaming nights and streams and other stuff and working on feedback. So it's great to have you guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. And uh, without further ado, this has been Mackiemon signing off. Later.